Hello everybody, welcome back to another Hofbergman Explained video. Today we're going to take a look at brewing beer. That is a part of the 1.1.0.0 version of Hofbergman. But before that, this video is brought to you by John McKinney and Will Cast. Thank you for being farm barons. So as I said, Hofbergman version 1.1.0.0 has a brewery actually here at the main starting farm and this is one of the new productions that is available in this map update so there you've got our farmhouse we have a methane tank this is why we needed to do methane in the previous video that we put out and then inside of here we have a multi-staged process in order to produce beer and over on the wall we've got this really cool breakdown now, while the wall schematic here is written in German, I will be plastering over top of this in post the English version of this. But it all starts at the grist mill. Basically, we need to take malt and we need to grind it up into malt grist. There's two different ways we can do that. We can do that one here in the shop and two, we can take our malt to the mill in town and have it ground up. Either way, we end up with bags of malt our malt grist. We're gonna add that to the mash tun. And in addition to that, we're gonna add water. And then we're gonna enable the mash tun. We're gonna turn it on. We're going to set it to distribute. And at that point, hoses, a hose is gonna connect, for real, to the lauder tun, which is next door. The lauder tun is going to take the mash and then add additional water to it and process it some more. At that point, we're going to take the wart and move it over to the wart pan where we're going to add hops. And it's going to process it again. And again, we're going to use the auto distribute method in the lauder ton production process to move it over to the wart pan. We're going to use the distribute method to take the wart from the wart pan when it's done and move it over to a cooling tower where it's going to cool. And then it's going to move over to the fermentation tank where we are going to add yeast. And after we're done adding our liquid yeast, it's going to ferment for a period of time. And then it's going to be moved over again through the distribution method to the storage tank where it's going to rest and mature into our beer. And then at that point, we're going to take our beer, put it into kegs, and then we have two options. We can sell it directly or we can take it down to the bottling plant and have it bottled into smaller bottles, at which point we can then sell that. So let's get started with the entire process. And the entire process starts with barley. Once you have a load of barley harvested from a field, in a live stream we did, we harvested field 24 barley, and that was convenient because right next door we have the barley mill. Or the malt mill and the malt mill does have operating hours it opens at 9 a.m it closes at 8 p.m and it is over here in the northwest section of the map the entire new section of the map so this is all new with the 1.1 update and we are going to be coming here to the malt factory so i've got my load of barley we're going to come into the malt factory And we're going to unload right here. Once we get our barley unloaded, we're going to get in and come over to Mr. Mill Operator over here and interact with him in order to basically activate the mill and then basically see what's going on. We'll come over here, we'll hit R to activate the mill, and we can turn it on. And once we've turned on the mill, we're gonna take barley and we're gonna convert it into malt. Now there's a few things that are important to note. If we come over here to this individual, he's in charge of what happens to the malt once it has been created. So we're gonna come in, we're gonna hit R, 
and you're going to notice some things happen. Pallets appeared, and the trigger just flew over there to the other side of the mill. We're going to hit R again. It's going to fly back over here, and the pallets are going to vanish. That's because we can configure this mill as to where things output. Where does our malt output? So if we pull up the F1 menu, we're going to see it says R, switch goods, issue to loose material. Okay, that's opposite. What, what this does is it's opposite. Right now, I am getting bagged material. So malt bags will appear on the loading dock. If I hit R, okay, it's now switched it to loose material. The pallets represent the fact that we're not going to get our bags here on the loading dock. The loading dock is full. We can't do anything about that. But what it's done now is it's moved the trigger over here and we can output our malt from the chute. So at that point, we could have our tractor and place it under the chute. In order to get malt directly. So let me speed up time a wee little bit. You see, we can pull out. We pulled out a little bit of malt, right? We'll toggle yeah, this back over. To loose material. We'll speed up time a little bit more. And you'll see we'll get a bag of malt that will appear. So there we have our malt. Now. What do we want to do if we want to not have to transport a ton of malt bags? Well, we can bulk grind our malt. And in order to do that, we have to come over to this mill located right here. So over here in the old part of the map, we have the whole grain mill. And if we look at our production for the whole grain mill, you'll see that we'll be able to bring malt and make malt grist right out of it. So I've got a load of malt right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it over to this unloading station. And we're gonna unload our malt directly into the mill. Once we've done that, we can come over here and talk to this fine individual. And we can activate our malt production. And what we're going to get out of that is we're going to get bags of malt gris. Okay. So we'll fast forward a little bit. And here you go. Look at that. A very fast process of getting malt gris. But either way, we're getting bags of either malt or malt meal. Okay. Let's jump back over to the farm. So I've already placed some barley malt over here. And I also have some malt meal over here. We have a malt grinder located right here. This is part of the brewery process, the brewery facility. So what we can do, we can come up here, we can pick up our bag. We can go up the stairs. And what we need to do is we need to position this bag by rotating it such that the sealed end is pointing down. And now that the sealed end is pointing down, we can unload our bag into the mill. If you've got far enough of reach, you can even do it from the ground here. So we're just going to put a little bit in here. And what we can do now is we can hit R 
to turn it on and take a look. You can see the button be pressed once we turn it on. And now that we are basically grinding our malt, we're going to see the malt gris appear out here into our wheelbarrow. Let's move on to the next process, the mash tun. We need to come over here. We need to open the door. The mash tun. The mash tun is going to require water and malt gris. So we can get our water by basically entering our barrel trolley. And if you don't know how to use all this stuff, we demonstrated how to use a lot of this stuff back in some previous iterations of the Hoff Bergman video series. And I'm also going to try to look up I did a new and noteworthy video on the LSFM farm equipment pack separate. I'll try to remember to put a tick mark up in the upper right corner of that. So we're going to fill with water because conveniently we have a water spigot located right here. And while that's running, we're going to add a thousand liters to our mash tun. By doing that. And while that's unloading, we can also demonstrate using our bags of malt meal. We're just going to dump that directly into this. Just like that. So if we bring bags of malt, we have to grind it in our grinder. Got a nice animation up there. If we bring bags of malt meal, we can dump them directly into the mash tun. Either way, we're having to deal with with bags at this step of the process. Let me go ahead and get this filled up with water. We'll finish up our malt grinding, and then I'll demonstrate the use of the wheelbarrow and putting that into the mash tun. So now our mill is done processing the malt. We've got basically 280 liters worth of malt gris. What we're going to do is we're going to hit E to enter our wheelbarrow. We're going to hit R to extract out our malt gris into our wheelbarrow. There it is up there. And then we would bring it over here and left click and raise it up to tip in. Okay. Now we can't do that because this is actually full at the moment. So we'll just drop that down there. So we've got a thousand liters of water. We've got 300 liters of malt gris. Take a look at our production change. You can see the beer processing mashing stage. We also need methane. So it's 3.35 units of water to one unit of malt and 0.1 units of methane is going to put 3.3 units worth of mash. So our methane, which is over here in our tanker that we got again from the biogas plant, we're going to bring and put into our methane storage tank, which is conveniently located outside. Get a nice little sound effect there, the methane flowing into the tank. And we can do activate this one of two ways. We can activate it the old school way by coming in here to a production change and hitting activate. Or we can activate it the new cool new way by coming over here to the button and hitting R to turn it on. And we now turn it on. So what we have going on here is we've got our water meter. It shows that we're full. We've got a gauge of water. We also have then another gauge, which is showing the temperature of the tank because we are heating it up with the methane. And that is slowly rising. We can close this by left clicking. And then if you take a notice, there is a pair of hose connection points down here and a hose. Well, we need to hook those up. And the only way we can hook those up is to come into here, go to mash, and we're going to change our output method to 
distributing. And once we do that, now our hose is connected. If we don't do that, we don't have a way of getting our malt, or sorry, our mash out of the mash tun into our lauder tun. That's just going to run for a little bit. And once it gets up to temperature, if you open this, oh boy, you're going to be met with a steam bath because it gets pretty hot in there. Let me kind of fast forward a little bit until we have basically filled up and completed our process of taking our malt grist and converting it into mash. And then we will distribute that over to here. Just wanted to demonstrate to you the real cool effect of the the steam if uh, if you open that door up while we're while we're cooking it. That's pretty neat. That is part of a a script that helps with the production. Let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit more. And now we basically have completed our conversion of malt grist and water into mash. Move to the top of the hour. And now we have a thousand liters of mash in our lauder ton. And this does not require any additional inputs. All we gotta do is activate this. So we'll turn it on and it's gonna automatically add water to the process. And now it's just a process of kind of waiting for that to finish. And while we wait for that to finish, we can fill this back up with water and fill it back up with malt gris. Because, of course, we want to make sure we keep this process running, right? Now we also need to go here to our lauder ton and set it to distribute. Okay, that way it's connected now to our next step of the process. So we've now finished working with our mash and it has moved over here to our wart tank. But there's something to note. We have an output that we need to get rid of. And that is spent grains. So we need to open our door here for our lauder ton. And we just got our wheelbarrow. And we can come right up here to the wheelbarrow and we can hit R. And now we are filling our spent grain out of our lauder ton into our wheelbarrow. We could use a bucket also for this. We could use a front loader bucket to extract this. And now that we have our spent grain, well, we can just get rid of that. And one way of getting rid of that is we can use it actually over at our pigs. Right over here, we can feed our pigs spent grain. But I did want to demonstrate that we basically have to get rid of our spent grain, because if we don't, we're going to come to a complete halt in the process. Now, the next step of the process, we have to add hops. Open the door. Now, I happen to have a bag of hops right here. We're going to pick that up and just kind of position it at the door. We're going to put a little bit of hops in there. Then we're going to shut our door back up. And we're going to turn it on. We turn it on again by doing it the old school way. Or we can hit the switch. We also need to take our cast off wart and we need to change it to distribution again. That way it's going to go all the way over here into our cooling tower. And then it's going to come over here to our fermentation tank. In the fermentation tank we've got a couple different gauges. We've got a temp gauge, we have a fermentation process gauge, and then we can see how much cast off wort we have and how much green beer we have. Okay, And then we also have a little cool fill pipe here. It's going to show us the fill level of the beer and such. So we're just going to let that run and do its thing. 
And again, it's going to move through the whole process and come over to here. Meanwhile, I'm going to get the rest of this, keep the rest of this stuff running. That way we have a good supply of beer. At this stage of the video, I want to just show that we do have an animation out here outside. We have steam coming out of the chimney as a result of all of the various processes that we have going on inside. And then I also wanted to kind of run down where do we get our hops, where do we get our yeast, and also where do we get our kegs that we're also going to ultimately end up using in order to bottle our beer or basically store our beer so then we can transport it either for bulk sale or for further processing. So if we go to our shop menu, the easiest thing to do is going to be going down here to mods and DLCs. We're going to go to the Hop Bergman section. And here we're going to find 500 liters worth of hops for $1,200. We cannot grow hops. We have to buy our hops in. But we don't use too many hops. So a bale of hops is going to go quite a long way. We also can get 10 liters worth of brewing yeast. This is a liquid bottle. We only need one bottle of brewing yeast per processing cycle. $25 for that. And then we also have beer kegs, $50 for a fillable beer keg. This is going to be required to remove beer from the brewery and then transport it down to the bottling plant or to sell. So that's where we're going to get all of that fun stuff. And we're going to have to get that from the shop. We can bring it then up here to the farm. Now that we have some cast off wort in our first fermentation tank what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to open the door we probably should have done that before we put cast off wart in there but at any rate what we're going to do is we're going to take our yeast and add it to there now we've done that we're going to close that back up and you can see the fill gauge was listed full of cast off wart now it is small again because now it's going to show us basically the status of our green beer and at that point, we need to come in here and activate that if it's not already running. So it is running. And you can see we've got our mash ton running. We've kept that running. We have our lauder ton running. We've kept that working. Our wort kettle is running. And then our fermentation tank is running. We're going to have to now sleep, and we'll come back, and we'll see where we are after one night's sleep. Well, good morning. You can see we've got a little bit of green beer going on, 274 liters. Our gauge is going up there ever so slowly. We can check our fermentation process. We're about 27%, it says. We have 1,000 liters of cast-off wort. And we can see we've got some more kind of just stored up over here, waiting to be dumped over there. Something I noticed last night, here we have our gauge that shows us our, our methane levels. So from our methane tank, it comes piped into here. Then there we have the gauge. It's going to show us how much methane we have. So we'll just fast forward time one more day and see where we are with our fermentation process. Morning of our second day, we have moved fermentation up to 75%. We now have 750 liters of green beer and still 1,000 liters of cast off wort. But our reservoir is down a bit. What we want to do now is we want to distribute our green beer from our one fermentation tank into our second tank. So we're going to come and we're going to take our green beer. We're going to move this over to distributing. And that is then going to move it down here to our storing and maturing tank. Let's go ahead and then jump forward an hour we'll see that process work and now most of our green beer has moved over into our resting tank where we're going to do our final maturing into a bottleable bottleable old beer and you can see that tank now we have 769 liters of green beer and one liter of legit beer and again this gauge will go up as we have more and more legit beer going on we can also see over here at our bar barrel injector we basically have one liter of beer also on the display so again we're going to fast forward one full day and we'll come right back so I fast forward about a day and a half at this point and we now have 145 liters worth of mature beer we have 600 
862 liters of green beer. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our keg and we're going to put it underneath of here. And then we are going to start filling. And we are slowly filling our keg with 100 liters worth of, of beer. We'll just let that slowly process. And while that is filling, I want to show you where we can sell our various types of beer. If we take a look at our prices screen, you're going to see bulk beer or beer in keg is going to be able to be sold at the church, contract filler, or the beer parlor. And then if we take our beer down to the contract filler, assuming that we own the contract filler, we'll then be able to process it into a box to beer bottles that we can then sell either at the gas station, the beer parlor for a premium, or the village shop. So we now have our keg worth of beer. Put it here in the back of Mahindra. And then if we wanted to, we could use our little dolly to dolly this around also we've just strapped it to the uh to the barrel here just for funsies and we could use that to fill also right lots of options so i already have two barrels of beer down at the bottling plant what i want to do is i want to take this over to the church and we'll basically demonstrate selling the bulk beer to the church and then we'll head over to the bottling plant where we'll then process our bulk beer into bottles and then we can take that over to the beer parlor and sell those. So kind of just like the wine process that we demonstrated in the original release of Hof Bergman, this process for making beer is fairly involved. It does take a fair bit of time. It's something you would probably, you know, start the process and then go off, do some farm work, come back a little bit later in the day and make sure everything is still running like it should. So over here at the church, we're going to bring our keg over here to the rather intoxicated priest. And as with most things, we need to tip it upside down. We've emptied the beer and we now have our empty keg that we can take back and fill up once again. and repeat this entire process. Now let's go over here to the bottler. The bottler is over here down in the old pound part of Hof Bergman. We learned about the bottler in the first iteration of the map when we were bottling our wine.
Let me make sure that we own the bottler. Yes. We do indeed own the bottler, and you can see we can bring wine down here. We can bring grape juice down here, or we can bring beer down here. We're going to activate the beer bottling. Here we have two kegs already. So there's one. There's two. And then we will fast forward just a little bit. And now we have crates of beer, 10 liters each. So one keg of beer, which is 100 liters, is going to make 10 of these. So we'll take these over to our pub and I'll show you how to sell that. And then that's pretty much going to conclude the the beer making process here on Hof Bergman version 1.1.0. the beer parlor is over the new part of the map that's where we started this video out with the malt mill and bringing our barley I completely missed my turn. Here we have the pub. take our beer not inside the pub but we're going to take it around back and there we go that is basically the beer making process here in farming simulator 22 on Hoff Bergman version 1.0 or 1.1.0. Let me know what you all think down in the comments below of the improvements that have been made to the map Hoff Bergman in the 1.1 update. And are you going to become your own brewmaster on your farm? And until next time, happy farming.